Week one from the Miami International Boat Show and Pleasure Boater is stocked with everything from Intrepid's latest, some awesome lighting, and keeping your cell phone dry, plus a look at a Carver C37. Pleasure Boater is dead ahead. Well, welcome boating fans to the granddaddy of them all. This is the Miami International Boat Show coming to you from Miami Beach, Florida. Hello again, everyone. I'm Captain Ted Jones along with Mark Beaver from Intrepid Boats. And we're on a 375? 375 walk around. This is one of the new ones here. Tell me the difference between this and the old 370. Well, what we've done here is we've combined uh, the style and design of our 350 walk around which was more of a utilitary cabin type boat, and the 370 Cuddy, which is a more of a high performance, sleek, sexy boat, and combine the two together into the 375 walk around. Yeah, you got a really nice cabin down there. Let's talk about what's in there. Well, it's got a full galley. It converts and has a full sleeping area. Um, one of the features that we've done is uh, to provide a lot of more room in the cabin is we pull the actual head and shower out of the cabin and put it inside of the console. Yeah, and down in there, the actual toilet itself goes out of sight to make room for a shower. Correct. It's, uh, there's actually room for two. It's a full, separate shower, not a wet head. Um, the toilet retracts into the wall in the shower area, which gives you a ton of room. And it has a full vanity, mirrors, a nice seat and everything, and it's all air conditioned. All right, now let's talk about the helm. What do we got there? The helm area, we've incorporated a nice, large, uh, raised platform to uh, increase the visibility. Um, the other thing we've done is you can mount multiple large screen electronics in front of you now, up to a 15 inch screen. And this is powered by? This one's powered by three 300 Yamahas. Now all Intrepids are outboards, why? Well, it's it just, it gives you um, a better power to weight ratio. Um, it gives you a lot more ability to be more creative in designing the hull itself for more room, more capacity, larger cabins because you don't have those engines inside. Yeah, there's they're no engine off. room. Correct, <laughs> they're hanging off the back. This, this boat's outfitted with a full generator, uh, uh, 5KW 30 amp service. It's got a live well. Um, it's This boat is pretty well loaded with everything for a long weekend. Air conditioned. Fully air conditioned. Air conditioned cabin, the head area is all air conditioned. Um, and again, it's 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 set up to go for three or four days. And this is not a bimini top, this is a hard top. Exactly, this is all a fiberglass hard top. Um, really nice design, pipe work. Uh, and again, it just really gives the boat a lot of sex appeal. LED lighting? All LED, every, every light in the boat is all LED now. Okay, so folks, there you have it, one of the latest inventions from the intrepid people. I'll look around and find even more here at Miami. Pleasure Boater is being brought to you by Intrepid Power Boats, one of a kind, one at a time. And by Glendinning Marine Products, relax, we're on board. And by Hurley Marine, dive into some great savings. And you know, no visit to the Progressive Miami International Boat Show would be complete if we didn't visit with Kathy Rickjewel, the show's manager. Kathy, this show is really full this year. A lot of boats and new boats. Absolutely. Well, they're all new. All 2,000 of them are new. So, yeah, they're all here and they're all ready to board and ready to buy. And we got stuff. You got stuff in the rooms. I call it stuff. You know, neat things for boats, things you can spend your money on. Yeah, lots of stuff. There's over 1,000 accessories vendors here. Everything you can imagine. Yeah, and outside. You go outside, there's boats out there. There's a huge tent full of everything. Yeah, there's about 300 exhibitors in that tent outside. So again, and the patio is also full of boats. Now, about how many people will visit the show over the period of time? We'll see about 102,000 people before we close the doors on Monday afternoon from uh, all 50 states and over 80 countries. Some of the boats are pretty spectacular. Some of the innovation here is incredible. Well, the Miami Show has always really been known for uh, the first unveiling, the first time introduction to the marketplace. You know when you come to the show, you're always going to see it first. People don't realize the behind the scenes. How big a staff does it take to put something on like this? 
Well, at the peak of the move-in, there will be about 1,600 people between all three locations. Some of them, of course, are full-time staff of the association, a handful, but the rest of them are, you know, electricians and laborers and food and be beverage vendors and, you know, it takes a village, basically. Speaking of food and beverage, you got a really nice food court this year out there. We do. We've got a great sponsor with uh, CV Boats and the uh, Miami Dolphins and Budweiser, and they've really put together a very nice area there for us. And we don't want to forget Progressive. Yeah, this is their third year, and they actually... Pr uh, sponsor all of the NMMA consumer boat shows that we produce annually. And you do have quite a few, right? Tell us about how many do you have? We've got 22 shows. Uh, we opened the door in New York City on January 1st. Uh, the third weekend in January, we actually had six shows running in six major markets at the same on the same weekend. So we've been really busy with shows the first uh, first quarter of the year. Well, the, the uh, chamber was kind to you with the weather this year, huh? Oh my gosh, beautiful. I was out on an event last night and we had gorgeous full moon and, you know, 65, 70 degrees. It was, you know, dry, no rain, beautiful. It's going to stay that way. Well, congratulations on another great show, Kevin. Thank you. Thanks for being here. This product profile is all about the people from BoatSinks.com. One of the advantages is they have the world's widest selection. Over a thousand different sinks are in stock. Everything is fully stocked. They have same-day shipping, great prices, and free shipping on all orders over $100. If you need complete kits, like, for instance, a kit for your engine, and that's the most important, they have it in stock right there. Check them out online at BoatZinks.com. Ever worry about getting a hole in your boat? That's the subject of this week's product profile with an ingenious invention. It's so simple. It's the Stay Plug from Forspar. Now let me show you how it works. It's flexible. You push it into the hole up to about a four inch hole, okay? You twist it like this, and look, it's almost like a rubber gasket because you see it has give to it. It'll really plug that hole up and make it tight. You can order it at forcebar.com. Well, folks, I found one of the most innovative pontoon boats you've ever seen. This is the biggest little boat on the water. How little? Just over seven feet out to... Ten feet wide. It'll go completely ten feet. That's what we're doing right here. This one is 22 feet. That one is... The other one is 18 foot. And so you make two models. We make two models, and what we're dealing with is in, in the width of the boats is the square footage, R18, is almost equivalent to everyone else's 22. The 22 footer that we're sitting on now on a square foot model uh, is just about exactly the same size as any other pontoon boat's 26 model. Yeah, I can believe that. I can see it because you're talking about square feet here. Yes, the, it is extremely roomy. It's 10 foot wide. It's a roomy boat. Now, you can get whatever engine you want within reason, right? You just that tell them. That's correct. Yeah, you can go from a 90 to a 115 or 150 on this 22. Right. Speed costs money. How fast do you want to go? <laughs> the right. idea. And you have some of the other luxuries, too, that's going to be available on an optional basis. Right. This 22, we have a galley uh, on it with a sink, and you have an optional grill to hang on the side. So we're going to be creating, we're, we're brand new in the market, but we will be creating all these other options and amenities that go with the boat and, and different seating arrangements, fish styles for fishermen, and so forth. Yeah, you put a couple of nice little fishing seats out there on the front. Absolutely. We, we will. The amenities that we're going to have and the options we're going to have is going to be like you could be able to get anywhere else. 
I wanted to set here so you folks can see just how big and massive this boat is when it opens up all the way to 10 feet. By the way, it's only legal to tow something up to eight feet wide without a special permit. So when this goes down to just over seven feet, you're perfectly legal. Yet when you put it in the water, you got a big boat out there. Neat idea, really cool from Island Boats. What's the website? www.islandboats.com. Learn more there. Well, we came upstairs at the Miami International Boat Show and ran into a product called Neptune Skin. You have a cell phone? Who doesn't? Everybody's got a cell phone. This is so you can take your cell phone underwater, right? Yes, underwater. Now, it keeps it completely dry inside? Keeps it completely dry. It's magnetically sealed, uh, so it will nothing will get in, nothing will come out. How hard is it to put in there? It just slides Not right in? Not hard at all. You just open it up, pull it out. Wow. In, and close it. Okay, but now what if I want to operate it, take pictures or something? You can do all of that. Uh, everything works through the phone. You can take a picture, you can see it's completely clear, take video, oh, yeah. do everything. Okay, and this is watertight. About how, how deep can I go? You can go about 30 feet deep. Okay, it comes with this lanyard here? It does come with the lanyard. It comes with a few different products. Uh, the lanyard is one of them. You'll see the rest. Okay, and it looks like to me you probably can have this personalized. In other words, if you have a company, you want your name on it, huh? Absolutely. We can do any label, any color, any style. No extra charge. All right, tell me some of the other things we have right here. What do you got in your wrist? Well, this is a wrist guard, so if you want to go, you know, stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing, on your boat, at the beach, anything in the water, it stands right next to you, especially on your jet ski, it's good if you want to go on a wave runner. We also have a flotation device, so if it does fall in the water and you don't have it on your wrist, it won't sink. Oh, really neat idea. Yeah, you need that too. And then what's the suction cup thing here? The suction cup is great because you can do so many things with it. You can hang it in the shower if you want, if you listen to music in the shower. Um, typically people, listen, if you listen to music in the shower, they have it outside and then if you want to change a song, the phone will get wet if you have to, you know, change the channel. Um, you can also hang it on your mirror while you're getting, doing your makeup. Um, you can hang it on your center console on your boat. So, it, you know, the bag's right there, it's out of the way. It's not falling, if you hit a big wave, it doesn't fall off, you know, the boat. So. That's what the suction cup is for. Now, I have a big phone. Can you make it work? Yes, uh, we actually have the one size fits all. It fits any phone with any case. You just slide it right in and it will fit. And you just seal it, magnet closes. And where are these made? These are made right here in Florida, actually. We're an American made product and it's made by people firmly who worked with the US Defense Department. Really, that's all I need to know except your website if I want to buy one. You can go to NeptuneSkin.com. Time for this week's nautical knowledge question. What term means away from the directional force of the wind? This week's product profile is a safety tip for you. You know, if you have a life wrap, that's only half of what you need. You also need a ditch bag or the ditch kit. The people at the ditch kit will custom make a kit for you that's specially designed for the kind of boating you do and where you do that boating. Here's a complete kit. There's a saltwater kit, for instance. Everything from flares to a fishing kit, repair kit, locator beacon, VHF. You can get them with sat phones. You can get them with a water maker. It depends on what you need for your type of boating. On this product profile, I want to talk to you people that have been wanting to have underwater lights on your dinghy or tender. Now you can get them. Take a look at this right here from Hurley Marine. It screws right into the drain plug. Very simple to install, but he's also got them that go on the trim tabs down there. If you don't want to mount them on the trim tabs, you can mount them direct flush mount on the back of the uh, transom with just two screws and they come in four different colors. Check it out at HurleyMarine.com.
The answer to this week's nautical knowledge question, what term means away from the directional force of the wind, is lee. Welcome back to Pleasure Boaters coverage of the Miami International Boat Show. No visit would be complete without stopping by the people at uh, Shadowcaster. Brian, you've got something brand new cooking here, but first, let's tell them a little bit about what you offer at Shadowcaster, in case you haven't caught one of the other shows, okay? You have these underwater LED lights, and you just have one hole where the wire comes through, plus the screws. Yes, sir. Uh, as you can see here, we have a range of sizes of underwater lighting. Uh, starting with our SC4, SC6, SC10, all the way up to the newly introduced SC40. Now, let's talk about the 40. That's a lot of light, huh? Oh, it's insane at best. <laughs> it changes colors? Uh, yes, we have them in uh, single color versions and a color changing version. And this is like putting a transducer on. You just drill truly one hole because there's a big ring nut that goes inside the boat. Exactly. You have a one inch hole uh, and then a big brass nut on the back of it. And that tightens it down, just like putting a transducer uh, in a through hull, and then they're 12 volt. 12 to 30 volts. And you have these ones you put on the trim tabs. You can actually move your trim tabs down, shine the light down. That's right. We, uh, as you can see, it's our standard light. So we have a bracket for SE4, 6, or a 10. So you buy the standard light, and then the uh, uh, trim tab kits, all stainless steel, all completely sealed above the waterline hole penetrations. So they make a lot of light underneath the water. And you have controllers over here, and they're all solid state. We have a what we call our SEM PD Plus, so that's our Power Distribution Plus product. You can see all the connections are color-coded. And there's actually an optional wireless controller that plugs into this. So as you can see, I've got the wireless controller here. Now I'm going to press the button, and I'm going to turn lights on and the cool thing is all the different models of color changing products are going to stay synchronized based on this box right here so here we go 1001, 1002. what a neat idea people want more information you got a website yes sir it's www.shadow-caster.com time now for boat test a look at the latest boats from the leading manufacturers boat test tests you can trust Today I'm on the 170 outboard by Bayliner. As you can see, you can option this up to be a very versatile boat. Our test boat's powered by the Mercury 115. You've got swim platforms on both sides with a three-step reboarding ladder on the port side. And then there's two tiers for stepping into the cockpit. In the center of the transom, the optional ski toe pylon, bench seating going across the stern of the boat, and in the center, an aerated live well. In typical Bayliner fashion, the bulwarks are opened up, they've got cargo netting for storage, and as part of the fish and ski package, there are rod holders. On the passenger side, you've got an AM-FM stereo, 12-volt power supply, storage compartment, and hey, notice they went with storage within storage, so you can put perhaps an MP3 player there, which will plug right into the MP3 jack while still being able to have storage to utilize. Drink holder over to the left side and a grab handle. As is usually the case on a boat this size, the panel is very uncomplicated, and I'm happy to see that. Two Faria gauges with chrome bezels, white faces. The speedometer has two gauges embedded in it, one for fuel, one for the battery. One drink holder, what would be taking the place of the other drink holder, is now occupied by the optional fish finder. That's part of the fish and ski package. Well, not only was I able to pull this 200-pound wakeboarder out of the water, but it's making enough of a wake where he's able to get some air under him, and while he's tracking back and forth, I can maintain a nice straight track. Turns out the 170 outboard is a nice boat for wakeboarding on. Well, that's our detailed walkthrough and full performance review of the 170 outboard by Bayliner. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. All right, folks, we're always trying to show you new things here on Pleasure Boater. Let me show you something. I have two items I found right here. First of all, we got this thing called the Quick Fender. Dustin, a little demonstration. This really works yeah, slick. Yeah, it's a, it's a simple device to hang your fenders to move them up and down quickly and easy without having to tie knots. And uh, basically to, to lift the fender, just pull down on it and slide the, the Quick Fender up. 
and it's locked in place. So it's got a, a jam cleat inside here, which will allow the harder you pull over here, the harder it locks the, the line in place. So to lower the line, you do just the reverse. You pull it out of the jam cleat, let it down into the position you want it in, and then again, it's locked in place. Really neat, but now here's my favorite, right over here, okay? This is called the boat loop. Tell me about the boat loop is used for grabbing a piling, That's right. grabbing a cleat, yep. but it's also a boat hook. Yeah. You can push off with the rubber snubber, or you can hook something right here. That's exactly Okay, right. now you have different sizes. We've got three different sizes. We've got two to four foot, a three to six, which is what this one is, and then the longest one is a four foot to eight foot. If you drop it in the water, it's plastic. Does it float? It does float, actually. It does float. So you can recapture it. That's right. <laughs> it doesn't go to, to the water gods. That's right. Not if you drop it, but when you drop it, if you're anything like, like me. Two brand new items right here from the people at RS Marine, whose website is? rsmarine.com. Seems simple enough. Pleasure Boat has been brought to you by Dan Levy Power Boat, the most unique and exhilarating ride on the water, and by Sea School, serving mariners since 1977. And by Mantis Anchors, sets on the first try every time. On this product profile, I want to talk to you about the all-new Farina 22. Take a look at this gorgeous boat. First of all, the color combination is tremendous. I like the separate bucket seats right there. Looks like the captain's chair has a bolster on it. He has the Volvo touchscreen control unit right up front right there. For power, it does have the Volvo 380 horsepower, which will take this boat across the water at about 65 miles per hour. If you want to learn more, log on to their website. It's right here on the screen. This week's product profile profile is all about going fast underwater effortlessly with the Pegasus thruster. Now this attaches right to your scuba tank so you don't even know it's back there and you don't have to hang on to it all the time. All you need is reach back, get this, push the button, this takes off and runs you. If you run it all the time, it'll last about 45 minutes underwater, but you're not gonna run it all the time, okay? It comes with a spare battery in a custom kit right here. To find out more, go to PegasusThruster.com. Welcome back aboard Pleasure Boater, ladies and gentlemen. Well, for our Yacht of the Week this week, we have picked out a brand new 2014 Carver. It's called the C-37. C is new to me, Dick. Uh, what is a C? Well, the initial C, this is called a C-37 Coupe, Ted, and the C just repeats the Carver notation, but uh, the Coupe really describes the style of the boat. Okay, and I see that. Now, first of all, folks, you wonder, <laughs> It looks like maybe the, the galley, or if that's a salon, what, what you would call that, is included here in the cockpit. Yeah, that's the uh, one of the mainstays of this design concept, is that the cockpit, the galley, the salon, dinette, and helm are all one integrated space. So when you have people on board or your family on board for the day, there's no separation in the groups. Everybody is here enjoying the day with, uh, with each other. And the back of that seat moves so people could actually sit there and be a part of this conversation. That's exactly right. The customers really want um, a lot of functionality with their boat. So we took that seat and designed it so that it can be used as a dinette seat or just flip the back and it can be used as a conversation setting, a uh, group setting here in the cockpit. You don't really have much of a step over right there to get into the galley area. How did you not have to do that? The Coast Guard and uh, European importation people have requirements that there needs to be a 
uh, capability of stopping water from entering the salon in the event of any water coming into the uh, cockpit. So you can do that either by building a gate or a piece of fiberglass across there that you would have to step over, right. but our engineers took a look at it and said we can do that the other way and build a scupper there that fulfills the same purpose. Oh, which is really nice. Yeah, and there's nothing to step over then. It's very, very convenient. No, and, and to shade you from the sun, or maybe if there's a light rain or something up here. Isn't that nice? That is a sun shade that comes across. Plus, you have a complete opening. You know, in, in a car they call that a sunroof. Well, it still is. Uh, that's what we call it here. That is actually made by a company that has formed its roots in the automotive business and it's powered so it can open or close and there are blackout shades that can make it uh, dark if somebody is uh, converting the dinette in the evening to sleeping. It looks like you have a complete galley there. I see a microwave, probably a little refrigerator and yet a TV if you want to watch a little TV. Just like home. Yeah, no kidding. His and her seats up there at the helm and then passenger seats or accompaniment seats right there where you could put your charts and what have you. Exactly, and that seat up forward uh, is convertible as well. So in one mode, it can be used for dinette seating, and with a, just a flip of a lever, it can move aft, and it can be used for companion seating when you're underway. In the master stateroom below decks right there, I noticed that bed is not that high, and most boats, when it's up there in the V like that, it's pretty high. It is, and that's a function of this hull form. This is a brand new hull form, very full in the front end. And what that does is it gives it some good buoyancy, but it also allows us to lower that bed and provide six foot five headroom up in the forward compartment. So it's uh, very, very roomy and very spacious. Yeah, I see that. And if, if it's a family and they got kids, they got a nice cuddy cabin there. It looks like a double size uh, bed. Exactly. It's a double size bed. And there is a uh, closet space, and the initial entry is six foot five as well. Looks like there's a lot of room out there on the bow. There is a lot of room, uh, and if you look at the bow rails, uh, another contrast with, a, with, the, um, with the express cruiser that a person is moving from is that these rails are full height rails. Uh, they're real functional rails, not just cosmetic. And there's side decks that a person yeah, walk can around. walk through. Yeah, and it varies between nine inches and 13 inches, so they're very functional. One of the things that, uh, as we were going through the forward section, Ted, that I uh, want to make a point of is in the head compartment, this boat has a home-like stall shower with a Lexan door. Now, the most incredible and neatest thing, though, is that joystick. I love that. It's not an IPS. That. It's not an IPS. It's the Mercury Axiom system, but it works. It fulfills the same duties, and it's a very comfortable, very intuitive way of docking this boat, and it works beautifully. You know, the funny thing is, as somebody my age gets in here that are used to the twin throttles in a traditional uh, drive unit, they can, they can uh, maneuver it fine. My 20-year-old uh, son that's used to uh, joystick-type gaming comes in here, and within two minutes, he's got it in the slip. He's used to that type of uh, control, so it's very, very intuitive. Uh, almost second nature to uh, control this and maneuver this boat. Well, I thank you very much for sharing this beautiful yacht with us and our yacht of the week. And you know what, folks, that'll bring to a close another edition of Pleasure Boat. Here from Miami Boat Show, I'm Captain Ted Jones. See you next week with more.